Battlefielders, how are you doing? My name is Pwn, welcome back to another Battlefield Hardline video. Today, I wanted to teach you guys exactly how to unlock the double barrel inside of Battlefield Hardline, and it does take quite a bit of time to build up and get some of these assignments done, but when it is done, it is well worth the fight and the drama to acquire this weapon because it is fun. Now, it may not be the best weapon in the world to use, but it is by far one of the most fun ones to use in the game. So let's start with assignment number one. The first thing you need to do is unlock the bronze service star number two. When this pre-requirement is finished, you can start operating on the actual assignment. You need to get 10 shotgun or battle rifle kills and then resupply 10 teammates, all of which can be done in one game. All very easy. After completing that, you can move on to the enforcer assignment number two. The prereqs for this are obviously completing assignment number one and unlock bronze service star number seven. Again, it's just a couple times playing in a game. These are going to unlock very, very fast for you. Then you can move on to the actual requirements. You need to get 25 shotgun or battle rifle kills, and then you also need to deflect 250 points of damage. That'll be done in no time. Literally, it's probably just one confrontation and you just hold the shield and let a guy shoot at you and it's pretty much over. So after that one is done, you now have officially unlocked the bald eagle, aka the beagle, and you can move over to the enforcer syndicate operation here. The pre-requirements are obviously completing the assignment number two. You also need to unlock 10 enforcer specific guns and or gadgets, which most people have probably done by this point, and also get to gold service star number one. To acquire this, all you got to do is just play a lot of it. It can easily be done. I completed this entire assignment from start to finish. I had no time played on enforcer. I did it today in eight hours. It can be done and you could do it in pretty solid time to be honest. Now, when you accomplish the prereqs, you go into the assignment, you need to get 200 shotgun or battle rifle kills. You also need to get 15 resupply coins. These are very easy. You're going to just get this in the first game or two trying to capture the 200 battle rifle or shotgun kills. Basically, a couple times somebody resupplies on one of your ammo crates, you're going to get a coin. It's going to fly by. I think I got all of mine in one game of blood money. You just drop the ammo packs in your high traffic area, something like on the blood money itself right next to it so people can grab it and sit on it or maybe even back at your base while playing it because obviously they probably got in a fight or two before they picked up money and went to go cash it in so just think smart lamb town that's gonna flow in within a game or two now things get a little tricky here with the ballistic shield coins unlike the other one in assignment number two where you just needed to receive damage this one is actual bullet penetration, so you need to let your shield take 100 big ones to the face. Now, this is going to be interesting, and I would really heavily recommend you guys to play Blood Money. Just put on the Ballistic Shield, sit right next to the money, aim the way they're going to flow in at you, and they're just going to tear you up with K-10s and a bunch of other ones, and it's going to build up. You're going to obviously get a few of those per game. So yeah, it may take you an hour or so to farm this up, but it is essential that you just back that ass into a corner. Just seriously... Look at where the enemy's gonna come, crouch down, you need to be patient. If you're just running around the map carelessly, you're gonna get picked off, shot in the back all the time, and you're not gonna get those 100 points towards that coin. Now, I gotta remind you, it's not points of damage, so I'm not saying, like, one shotgun blast is gonna hit for 100 plus, and you get one of those. Remember, it's bullets hitting the shield, 100 bullets have to hit the shield for you to be granted a ballistic coin, so, two shotgun shells is two shots. A full mag of K-10, do the math. It's going to happen, you just gotta make sure you make sure the flow works and runs smooth by camping out and sitting near an objective like in Blood Money. Now, now for the Enforcer's Tier 4 Reputation, put on some of those Reputation Boosts. You have them, if not, buy some Gold Battle Packs, maybe hope to get them. They're very, very useful when going for this. Again, playing things like Blood Money or Hot Wire where you can get those to scale. For PC players, there are servers that are no-kill driving only hot wire servers that you can build these up very very quick if you want to but this is probably the most time consuming part of it it took me about three hours to get all of these done so that's where the majority of the time comes in for this assignment so with that when you've accomplished that you get a gold battle pack granted to you and the double barrel shotgun and again as a reminder take friends with you it's going to be so much easier especially the tier four if you got people repairing cars you're doing hot wire in vehicles inside blood money capturing those points it's going to go by smooth and i want to remind you guys for those that do not know what the tier four reputation are yet in this game it's where you can like hold q and activate fast climb or whatever one is available for the class and you need to get to the fourth tier it scales it's very very hard to do and remember if you die during progress you lose it and it resets so if i get through level three and i'm working on level four and i get halfway through and die i gotta start all over on level four again very challenging take friends get it done quick and it will be rewarding when you do that now how does this gun perform 
I like it. It's super hell a lot of fun. I like using this gun, and I've always been a big fan of double barrels. They're not something you really want to use in FPSs, especially large player count areas, because the gun takes so much time to reload. You're going to be super vulnerable, but the gun's got great range. You could double tap really quick. Its only major flaw is, in fact, the reload speed. So... It's fun to use, but I've always enjoyed games like Doom and Serious Sam where, you know, shotguns and double barrels have always just been just classy fun, casual, classic fun in an FPS. So again, is it something you should probably use over the 870? No. You're going to die a lot. You're going to get caught on reloads frequently. So, but is it really, really fun to use? Yes, it is. And I love using it. It's probably my favorite shotgun because of the fun factor alone. So is the grind worth it? Yes. I'd say roughly estimate 8 to 12 hours for completion. So get out there, knock out the Enforcer Syndicate assignment. Be sure to leave a like on the video, support this one. A lot of time went into grinding this out in one day for you guys. And subscribe for future Hardline videos. I'll catch you guys out there sometime. Hopefully not on the other end of my boomstick.